Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to save you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. In seventh grade, Ava and Mia transferred to our school. They were twins, they had beautiful handwriting, and they were hilarious. I desperately wanted Ava and Mia to think I was cool and funny, but I hadn't found the right moment. One day, our science teacher asked us to gather around a table. She was gonna demonstrate how a potato could turn on a light bulb. Afterward, we'd break into groups. I just had to be in Ava and Mia's group, so I pushed through the crowds to squeeze behind them. I stood on my tiptoes and leaned against a little box mounted on the wall to get a better view. Then, I felt the box give way. A super loud alarm started ringing. This is not a drill. Everybody line up to go outside, said our teacher. I looked behind me and saw the worst thing possible. My butt had flipped the handle of the fire alarm down. This was all my fault. The whole school waited while the firefighters and police inspected the school. I was panicking. Back inside, I saw the police talking to my teacher. Then they sent this kid, Morley, to the office. Our teacher said, Morley did a very dangerous thing today by setting off the fire alarm as a prank. Morley was a notoriously bad kid. He never turned in his homework, he was always in trouble, and one time he got suspended for putting a rock inside a snowball and throwing it at the school bus. What's gonna happen to him, someone asked. If Morley was an adult, he would be sent to prison, said another kid. I thought I was gonna throw up. That night, I felt so guilty I couldn't sleep. Morley got blamed for my mistake. If anyone should go to prison, it was me. The next day, I raised my hand and declared, Morley didn't pull the fire alarm as a prank. I did, with my butt. Everybody burst out laughing, and I got sent to the office. I explained the whole thing. I said that I was prepared to go to prison. Prison? The principal laughed. I don't send kids to prison. He said he'd forget all about it if I sent a letter to the fire department saying I was sorry. Morley thanked me for standing up for him. And at the end of the year, Ava and Mia, who were the yearbook editors, awarded my butt fire alarm incident as the funniest moment of the year. Telling the truth is better than letting someone else take the blame. And let new friendships happen naturally. Otherwise, you'll never learn how a potato can turn a light bulb on.